Well, Dr. John Hovanesian is here from Harvard Eye Associates. Always good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Welcome well. back. You, it is a pleasure to be here. Uh, you know, one quick thing. Let's bring it up before we get into your topic. Um, all of a sudden, we go from all this kind of moist weather over the days, and now over the next six days, six, seven days, we're getting dry weather, not necessarily hot, warm compared to how it's been, but we got the wind conditions out there. Maybe you could give us like a couple uh, well, thing, tips is, on that. That's right. It is becoming high season for uh, uh, what we call ocular surface yeah, disease, which yes. means dryness yeah. and allergy and anything that, uh, you know, just because the environment, now you got the dry wind, uh, and if it yes. blows in from the desert, it's particularly bad because it carries all the dust and all the mold that's been growing yeah. and all the pollen which all leads to allergy and that's what makes us miserable. So be prepared for it. If it itches, the, you know, a good rule of thumb mm -hmm. is if it itch, it's itchy, put cold on it because okay. that's probably allergy. Cool compresses. If it's burny and not so itchy, try warm compresses. Okay. And of course, alternating or trying one, you're never going to hurt yourself by yeah. trying both. But, that's a good um, point. You know what you just said is uh, so true. We've had months of rain and so all this extra stuff has yeah. grown and I can, once we get in April and May, once this rain kind of goes away, oh my, it's just going to be. It's going to be quite a, a summer. A plethora of That's pollen. Right. It's going right. to be a sunny, warm summer with a lot of watered plants. We're going to see a lot yeah. of growth and, uh, and, and let's hope we all feel good. And let's get outside and enjoy that as yeah. well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, we're talking about the subject today is laser cataract surgery. And uh, I know you've, we've kind of touched on this before, cataract surgery, laser surgery. Uh, yeah, so it's yeah. A, there's a lot of confusion right, around this, right. isn't there? A lot of our patients have thought that we've always done cataract surgery with lasers, and for about five years it's been common, but it's not the most common way we do cataract surgery. So, of course, in cataract surgery, it's the most common procedure we do, especially for older folks. Mm -hmm. um, what we're treating is the front of the eye, the lens of the eye internally, that lens becomes cloudy, and when it does, the world's best glasses don't fix the problem. You've got to right. remove and replace the lens, and that's what cataract surgery does. So, you know, the whole eye is shown there in our picture, but it's that front part of the eye where the lens is that we're replacing with cataract surgery. So in traditional surgery, we've gone in with instruments and uh, broken up the lens. We use ultrasound to soften the lens and then okay. to vacuum it out in tiny little pieces. And then we slip a, a new lens implant in the eye. Well. Uh, the, about five years ago, laser cataract surgery came along, and a, what a laser does in this case is takes the most precise steps of cataract surgery and automates them uh, okay. with the precision of a laser. So it makes the openings inside the eye that we otherwise make by hand. It softens the lens of the eye before we even touch the eye with instruments, so that when we go in, it's more like we're just extracting the lens rather than breaking it up and so that we can then put a lens implant to an eye that's almost perfectly prepared to receive it. Wow. Um, so it so simplifies the yeah. surgery. Uh, now, is this used in all cases or it just depends? Well, there's, there's cost in it that's not covered by insurance, unfortunately, okay. and so not everybody chooses it or can afford it. And to be sure, we do really good cataract surgery with or without a laser. Yeah. Uh, it's not required to do a good job, but it's about 50% of my patients who choose to have us use mm -hmm. a laser to do the procedure. And you know, it, it avoids some complications. Okay. It makes healing faster. It uh, helps us to do a gentler surgery, less traumatic, and so it has a lot of benefits. Uh, but it's uh, you know, but there there is a cost that comes with. Now, it. is the the higher cost because it's still new, or is it one of those things like once the technology moves on? as we've seen, the cost goes way down. Yeah, you know, that's a great question. And uh, it's partly because it's new. It's partly because the cost of actually doing the laser treatment are, uh, are, are high and they're, they're not something Medicare covers. It's also because while we're using the laser to do those steps, it also can help to fine tune the vision for distance so that we can at least give a, a, you know, a person the ability to see clear, far vision so they can see road signs and see their television screen without glasses. So there's, there's a couple of benefits uh, to it. And, and you know, we wish that it were covered by insurance. Right. We'd like this to be available yeah. to everybody. Um, we're, we're not the ones who decide uh, right, what right. it costs. We, we just want our patients to have access to the best uh, you know, technology that's available. And so we, we, we offer it and leave it up to patients. Okay, let's ask the, the question that I'm thinking about, and I think probably a lot of other people. LASIK surgery, 
cataract surgery, laser cataract surgery. Right. You got that, three things there that are yeah, all. Yeah, so what is yeah. that? That's a, that's a perfect question because uh, with LASIK, this is a procedure for people who have a clear lens inside their eye, in other mm -hmm. words, who have not developed cataract, or people who've had prior cataract surgery can also undergo LASIK. So whether you've got a, a lens that was implanted or a, a young, healthy lens that God gave you, as long as it's clear, you can consider LASIK. And what LASIK does is in a completely different part of the eye. What we're doing is giving the person their glasses or their contact lens prescription directly on the surface of the eye, okay. on the cornea. So the very front window there, mm -hmm. the first thing that you, you, what you touch when you put a contact lens in is the cornea, it's the front right. clear part of the eye, and that is where we alter the shape uh, by just removing microns, tiny bits of tissue, to alter the curvature and the focusing. So okay. LASIK uses a different kind of laser than laser mm -hmm. cataract surgery. LASIK gives you your contact lens prescription for those people who, whose problem really is that they'd rather not wear glasses okay. uh, but don't have a cataract. Okay. So when you're doing laser cataract surgery, is, are you also alternating the cornea if need be to, to do two things at once? We are. And okay. although it's not the same laser that we use in LASIK, okay. uh, it's a little different approach. We do alter the shape of the cornea to make it, to fine tune its focus. We correct astigmatism. And between that and the choice of the lens implant that we put inside the eye, we can pretty well fine tune things so that we have a you know, very precise delivery of clearer vision. Okay. Uh, so uh, there's lots of advantages to this nice technology of using a laser instead of, you know, hand yeah, performed yeah, cataract sounds like surgery. It. Okay, another question. I always have lots of questions for you. <laughs> and uh, something we've mentioned before, those who may have had LASIK surgery in the past, and I know, uh, I think it was like, I think it was last year, uh, my sister had cataract surgery. She was about fairly young, 50, yeah, 51. Young. And she had LASIK surgery probably when she was like 33, 34. Yeah. So there were more complications for, for, the, uh, for the other surgery because of the LASIK. Is that usually the case? So uh, this is a, a very common thing so, because right. so many of our patients coming for cataract surgery have had prior LASIK mm -hmm. or other procedures. And it does add an element of um, complexity to the planning of the procedure. It doesn't make the surgery itself harder to okay. perform. Uh, but it, it, it makes it more uncertain how we measure the eye before surgery okay. so we know precisely what implant to put in. We have very good formulas for doing this and a lot of practice, but um, an eye that's had prior LASIK it has more plus and minus, if you will, more uncertainty on exactly how it will heal after the procedure and how it will focus. So what we end up doing for many of those patients is cataract surgery and sometimes we'll do a second procedure with LASIK. Even if okay. they had LASIK before, they'll have cataract surgery and they may need a touch up with LASIK afterwards okay. to fine tune that vision if the implant you know, was right but then the eye healed and changed because of the LASIK we can then adjust it again. So we have a way to solve the problem but it does add a level okay. of complexity. Yeah, it took her I think a little bit longer because just because of that. Everything came out fine. Yeah. Now, is this uh, what you're looking at? Through? Yeah. So, in, in laser cataract surgery, the uh, you know the instrument measures the eye. So we okay. don't have access to any of this kind of information when we do hand uh, you know mm -hmm. cataract surgery. The laser precisely maps the, uh, the the eye down to the level of the cell, and then you know we the surgeon can. Uh, lay out the parameters for exactly how it's cutting, where it's cutting, how it's softening the lens, and that uh, really, you know, it's like if you had to draw a circle on a piece of paper mm -hmm. or you had a template to draw it around. I can draw a pretty good circle because I've had good practice with it, but I'm not nearly as precise as I am when I use a template to do right, it. Right. So the laser gives us that kind of precision, and that does translate to a little better predictability okay. of the visual outcome and a little better healing time and avoiding some complications. So it has some nice advantages relative to standard cataract surgery. Uh, but having said that, standard cataract surgery is still a terrific procedure that, uh, that we do in, you know, in, in many of our patients and have great results with. Yeah, and I know that um, you know, with the, the technology advances, uh, things just get better and better. And you know, one day, hopefully, 
this uh, this technique will be covered by uh, insurance programs. We'd love to see that yeah. happen, and you know we're even working our way toward treatments where we can prevent cataracts. Wouldn't it be nice yeah. if people didn't need surgery for cataracts? I, I'm not sure what I would do for a living, but uh, but I, I'll, I'll find something yeah. else, and I would yeah. love it if our patients didn't have to go through wow. surgery to see better. That would be um, something. Is that something they're they're working on? Uh, not through. It won't come soon because. Yeah. Um, developing cataracts is a little bit like our hair getting gray or our yeah. skin getting old and we don't you know it's a very complicated process and we don't have a, a simple solution. So you, ha you haven't made that infomercial yet. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you but I could use all of that. <laughs> but that you know it's all good news because it's just the advances are, yeah. are terrific and um, you know when you when you folks at Harvard Eye and in, in other just the whole area of Orange County in Southern California, we're very fortunate to have great eye adva advancement in eye care and technology. I say wonderful. it all the time, we're in the Silicon Valley of eye care yeah. here in Orange County. We're particularly lucky in my practice because we have a, a, the largest uh, practice here in, in, um, in Orange County and so we are leaders in helping our industry to bring better technology forward. So mm -hmm. we do a lot of research studies that patients can choose to voluntarily participate in and, uh, and they get access to technology that a lot of doctors have never heard of, but are kind of common yeah. practice for us uh, in, our, in our place, so. All right, very good. Always, always good, good to, to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> always good to see you. Out of your mouth. I know, and uh, again, um, you know, the wind's out there, take care of yourself, and uh, Harvard Eye Associates is located right, uh, right down the road here, over by I, whatever that mall is gonna be called. Right across from uh, 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 Gate 2. Gate 2, right? uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, right, uh, right across from the flagpoles of, of uh, Saddleback Hospital yeah. uh, from the front end. Yeah, so easy to get to. Get your lubricant eye drops this week. It's going to be windy. Yeah. You're going to need them for your sensitive eyes. So. Yeah, we've already, always, uh, already have felt it just in one day. So yeah. What a yeah. difference. You can sense it. Take care of yourself. Stay out, everyone, over there, and we'll Take be right care. back. Yeah.